Hello and welcome back. In this module, you'll learn why energy is important and how it boosts your productivity. Energy is very important when you're aiming for high productivity. If you look at successful people and ask them how they do it, they'll always say energy is one of the main drives to success. Defined in physics as the capacity to work, energy comes from four main sources in you, your body, emotions, mind, and spirit. 1. The Body It's no news that improper nutrition, exercise, sleep, and rest affect your energy levels, emotion management, and focus. Nonetheless, you may be guilty of ignoring ways to practice healthy behaviors given all the other demands in your life. You may be doing such things as skipping breakfast, failing to express appreciation to others, struggling to focus on one thing at a time, or spending too little time on activities that give them a sense of purpose. While it's not surprising that these behaviors are counterproductive, having them all listed in one place can become uncomfortable, sobering, and galvanizing. Rituals for Building and Renewing Physical Energy Let's take an example. Gary Faro, a vice president at Wachovia, was significantly overweight, ate poorly, lacked a regular exercise routine, worked long hours, and typically slept no more than five or six hours a night. Faro began exercising with cardio and strength training. He also started to go to bed at a regular time, and he sleeps longer. He changed his meals from two big ones a day to small meals every three hours. The aim is to stabilize glucose levels over the course of the day, avoiding peaks and valleys. And the result? Farrow lost 50 pounds and his energy levels soared. Another way to restore energy is taking brief, regular breaks at specific intervals throughout the workday. We have ultradian rhythms, which refers to 90 to 120 minute cycles during which our bodies swing through high and low energy states. If done properly, intermittent breaks can increase and sustain performance. It's possible to recover well in a short time if it involves a ritual that allows you to separate briefly from work and let your mind rest. 2. The Emotion When you can take more control of your emotions, you can massively improve the quality of your energy. To do this, you must become aware of how you feel at various points of time and its effect on your effectiveness. People tend to perform best when they're feeling positive energy and won't perform well, vice versa. Rituals for Erasing Negative Emotions One ritual for erasing negative emotions is buying time. You can take deep abdominal breaths and exhale slowly for 10 seconds to relax and recover and diffuse your fight-or-flight response. Expressing appreciation to others is a practice which is as beneficial to the giver as it is to the receiver. It can take the form of a handwritten note, an email, a call, or a conversation. The more detailed and specific the appreciation given, the higher the impact. To achieve higher success at doing this, like any other rituals, set aside some time to do it. Finally, you can change the stories you tell yourself about the events in your life. You can see this often, people casting themselves in the role of a victim instead of being thankful uh, for what they have. This is powerful because you are more aware of the difference between the facts and the way you interpret them. The Mind Multitasking while sounding and looking cool actually undermines productivity. This is because a temporary shift in attention from one task to another increases the amount of time to finish a task by as much as 25%. You're likelier to be more efficient to fully focus for 90 to 120 minutes, take a true break, and then fully focus on the next activity. This focus and break cycle is called Altradian Sprints. Rituals to Reduce Interruptions Once you can see how much you struggle to concentrate, you can combat this by creating rituals to reduce the interruptions that bother you. Start out with an exercise that makes you face the impact of your daily distractions. Here's an example. Instead of replying to your emails as soon as they come in, set time to answer them at specific times of the day. This actually can allow you to clear your inbox faster if you fully focus on your emails for 45 minutes at a time. 
Another way to mobilize mental energy is to focus systematically on activities that impact you the most in the long term. Identify the most important challenge for the next day and make it your very first priority when you arrive at work the following morning. 4. The Spirit Your spirit is at your highest when your work and activities are consistent with what you value and have a sense of meaning and purpose the most. If the work you're doing really matters to you, you will have more energy, focus, and perseverance. However, the demands and pace of corporate life don't leave much space for these issues, and many don't even know that meaning and purpose are potential sources of energy. To access the energy of the human spirit, you need to clarify priorities and establish rituals in three categories. 1. Doing what you do best and enjoy most at work. 2. Consciously allocating time and energy to the areas of your life like work, family, health, service to others that you deem most important. 3. And living your core values in your daily behaviors. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.